What's up everybody? Today we're going to be reviewing the Wise 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. We're going to run it through some tests. We're going to talk about its features and then give it an eco score. So first up, this being a 100 amp hour battery, we're going to see if this can maintain an output of 1280 watts for five minutes. We have several different things to monitor its usage. We have this device here. Also our inverter will give us some information there and we have our victron battery monitor here let's get on with the test so first we're going to turn this on we're going to disconnect the charger and turn on our heater showing this is showing 1255 1274 perfect so we'll see if this will hold for five minutes now, interesting enough, we have on the Victron is showing we're using 1,380 watts. On the inverter, it's 1,265. And on this thing, it's 1,280. You could probably call this around 1,300. All right, so we ended up going over eight minutes. That, that happened fast. So it's been able to hold just fine. All right, so we're all charged back up. Now we're going to run our capacity test. I'm going to turn our inverter back on and then we're going to reset this there we go and now we're going to turn on the heater and here we go so this should run for approximately an hour one thing i do want to highlight on this victron it is saying that this battery is draining super duper fast i don't quite believe this how accurate this is we're only one minute into, into the test and this thing is saying that it's already at 96.65 percent that is insane now if we scroll through this we see that we are draining 114 amps saying basically 1390 kilowatts uh, and we have already lost 2.2 amp hours and counting so we'll see all right we are all out of steam it shut off so let's go ahead and plug this in to the wall and see what the rate of capacity is all right so let's see it ran for an hour and 33 minutes and i do want to say during that runtime we did experience an issue where the battery overloaded uh, it, it actually got too hot. It shut off. It got at the 12 minute mark and then it shut off and then it came back on after maybe about 10 minutes or so and went right back to work. So it does have the auto thermal protection and it does work. So let's go ahead and see capacity 1,221 watt hours. That is good. All right, when it comes to the size of the Wise 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, it's a big battery. Uh, it's no denying that. When it comes to weight, the Wise battery weighs in at 22 pounds 14 ounces. It sports a 10 year warranty, and when it comes to features, it really doesn't have many. It does have a pretty good BMS where it shuts off if it overheats and then. Once it cools down, it will kick back on without any reset or any input from the user. But other than that, it doesn't have Bluetooth or anything like that going forward. With all that said, it does perform well. It, uh, I mean, you're going to pretty much use all of its advertised capacity. They sent me out this battery to go inside my RV and it didn't fit. So just be aware of that. Now, as for price, these are on sale right now for $224. Uh, you can get an extra 5% off for Prime Day. Depending on when you see this, that may or may not exist. But for an extra $30, bucks, you could get something from Power Queen that's, you know, a smart battery that has Bluetooth or an extra $45 and get something from Golden Mate that has a screen and has Bluetooth as well. So in my opinion, I just say make sure you shop around. Now, let's give the Wise an eco score. Before we get to the eco score, I just want to show you the testing results. The Wise can be found here on the top row. For price, the Wise to me is priced kind of high for what you're getting. 
Granted, you get a great battery. It performs well. It's efficient, but it's priced a little high for not having any of the features such as Bluetooth or any anything extra like that. So it gets a three. As far as performance goes, the battery performs great. It gets a five. As far as efficiency goes, at 95% capacity, it, it performs great there, and it gets a five. Features, it really doesn't have any. <laughs> I do appreciate that the battery reactivates itself once it shuts down from an overload, and it gets a two. Warranty, one of the best warranties I've ever seen for batteries. Usually, they'll say that batteries last 10 years, but they'll only warrant them for three to five years. Here, you get a whole 10-year warranty, and it gets a five. As far as value goes, I appreciate the warranty. I appreciate its performance, but the lack of features really get to me. The lack of Bluetooth and not really knowing what's going on with the battery, its charge state, anything like that, really brings it down in terms of value. And then at the price, so it gets a three for a grand total of 23 points.